Hi, this is a short video describing how to create great looking extruded text in Title Pro. Instead of fonts having bland surfaces, spruce them up by applying different textures and beveled edges. Welcome to this tutorial, my twelfth. For this video I'll be using Title Pro 7 standalone. I'll start by deleting my default title. And introduce some static text. Don't need variable text for this demonstration. Change the font to AR Julian and change the colour two three five one four one. If you double click this number, it'll highlight it. And zero. And now click the 3D controls drop down and change the extrusion to 13. Double click this one, 13. Now you can't see the extrusion at the moment because I haven't rotated the text. If I click the globe icon here and rotate the text you can see the extrusion there. To see it better I'll go to the global tab Ensure that this padlock icon is locked. This will lock X, Y and Z. And drag the scale out. Drag it to quite big. To about 40. Move this over and go to the style tab and change the font to Times New Roman. And there's Times New Roman. Now sometimes with different fonts, extrusion doesn't work very well. In this case, it seems to be okay. I'll change that back to AR Julian. Now what I'm going to do now is just to underline it because I want to show you some other features not really features but things that can go wrong you see these little bars across there on the underline shouldn't really be there but that's something you'll have to watch out for I'll just take out the underline again to get rid of the bars. I'll just open up the 3D controls again. Come down to this thing called normal map surface. Open that up. And that'll show you various surfaces that you can map onto the text. If 
I hover the mouse over the surfaces, you can see the effect it has on the text. I'm going to come down to something called Wood Tawley. We have to double click that to apply it. Oh, and another thing, if you want to take that away, click the bin icon. And that removes it. I'll come back down again. See that gives it a nice wood effect. If I click the map to sides box that applies the mapping to all sides of the text. Now what I want to do now is bevel these edges. This is where this bevel control comes in. If I click this slider, this puts a bevel on the edges there, as you could see. And you, again, you have to be careful with this that you don't put too much bevel on because that will totally destroy the text. I'll go to the global tab again and just wind that in some more. So I can see the beveling on the edges there. Go back to the style. 3D controls. You can see that we have different bevel styles preset. or you can produce your own styles. By moving these handles. You see the effect it has on them on the edges. Now the little checkbox here, include backside. If I check that, the bevel will appear on the other side as well. So just to demonstrate that, we'll go to the global tab again, pull the scale down. The reason I'm having to pull the scale down is because I need to move that so I can get to the globe icon. So I'm able to turn this round. And then scale it back up again. Now we know the bevels on that side. And if I go back to the style tab, 3D controlled, and click on this little checkbox, 
the bevel appears on the reverse. So I've got it on both sides now. So that's text. And what I'll do now is I'll delete this paragraph. Go to add shape, rectangle, select it. And if I alt drag, pull it out to there and the same with the height and go to the style tab, which we're already in. Change the color. This time I'll go for 180. Ninety nine and zero. Go to the three D controls and I want to set the extrusion to five. I'll just rotate that so you can see the extrusion there. Now to just zoom in, the padlock is still locked so I can grab one of these and just zoom that in. Now to go to this dial tab. 3D controls, go to the normal map surface option again, come down to wood tally, turn it round. And click map to side. We've got that map map into all the sides now. And it looks like a board. Well, that's about all for this short tutorial. But you can appreciate that there is a lot more that can be done to enhance your text. Watch out for future videos. Until the next tutorial, bye for now.